It's actually ridiculous that I have to take out the time to correct somebody else's mistakes. But this just has to be said because unfortunately, anybody who is talking about this, they're just spreading wrong information. Now, recently, I really don't have any desire for any kind of social media drama, but when it has to be called out, it has to be called out. There was some influencer who posted a reel about blocked account amount has increased and like first like you know just being sad that the blocked account amount has increased and then some kind of of course uh, plug afterwards the problem with these kind of things is that all right like you know if you want to make some kind of clickbait it makes sense because you're trying to add value to the person once you have the hook once you have them inside you're adding some kind of value these kind of posts where the blocked account amount has increased when you can take on the official sources on i will put the links here i will ask my team to do that you can see the screenshots, first of all, from the student visa checklist. It's still 861 euros. Second, on the Auswärtige Amt, which is the federal foreign office. Again, it's the same amount which is mentioned there, 861 euros. And then on another blocked con provider, which is Expatrio. You can also see on their website, it is still 861 euros. Now, it makes absolutely no sense to cause more discomfort, more anxiety and more misinformation to students who are essentially already having a very difficult time going through all of this process right now. When you post these kind of things without any kind of responsibility, without any kind of taking a look at the official sources, this just reflects very poorly on you because you should be the responsible person. If you care about your audience, you will not spread wrong information, no matter who asks you or pays you to do that. It's just a horrible thing. And I would really, really recommend more influencers to watch out for this and just make sure whatever kind of information they're giving that it is actually backed up by official sources. Maybe the blocked account amount rises in the future. Some universities have written to students to change to a different blocked account amount, but they give the notification already once you receive the admit. For most of the other universities, it is absolutely not an issue at all. It is still 861 euros, like is mentioned in the checklist and is mentioned on the Auswärtiges Amt or the Federal Foreign Office website. Making these kind of bold and false claims are just a way for some companies to get traction so that you get to know about them first so that they can sell you their product first. But in the longer run, I don't think it helps at all. I think you should be responsible. I think you should be seeing that students are also having a lot of problems anyways. They have to always watch out. They always have to see if the thing that they're doing right now is correct or not. And when then something like this comes up on top, it's not a nice thing. You're just causing more problems to the students. And I was a student once back in 2016 when I came to Germany. So I know how concerning this can be. And this is the reason I'm making this video that if anybody else is seeing these kind of information online, you should make sure that you're always taking a look at the official sources. If it has not changed there, then you don't have to worry about anything else. The blocked account amount is still 861 euros officially. It has not changed. When it changes, I will make a video and I will let you guys know.